Question 4.1 consists of one finance question, one probability question and five data handling questions. You are given a context where the average monthly retail price of a basket of millis in American dollars for 2020 and 2021 are shown in the table. In question 411, you are instructed to write down the price of a basket of millis in August 2020 to the price in August 2021 as a unit ratio. A unit ratio is a ratio that starts with 1 and ends in a conversion factor of any number. From the table, the price of millis in August 2020 is given as $3.12 and the price of millis in August 2021 is given as $6.32. As a ratio, this is written as 3,12 to 6,32. Now dividing both sides of this ratio by 3,12 will result in a unit ratio of 1 to 2,025641026. In question 412, you have to calculate the difference in the price for a basket of millis between January 2020 and the price in December 2020. From the table, the price of millis in January 2020 was $3.79, while the price of millis in December 2020 was $3.97. The difference in these prices will be $3.97 minus $3.79, and this equals $0.18. In question 413, you have to write down the month and year in which the retail price of a basket of millis was at its highest. From the table, the month and year in which the retail price of a basket of millis was at its highest was in August 2021. In question 414, you are instructed to determine the probability as a simplified fraction of randomly selecting a month in 2020 where the average retail price was less than $3.50. From the table, these months in 2020, the retail price of millis was less than $3.50. This was 6 months out of the 12 months of the year. So as a fraction, this can be written as 6 over 12. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by 6, will give you a simplified ratio of randomly selecting a month in 2020 where the average retail price was less than $3.50 of 1 over 2. In question 415, you are instructed to calculate the mean retail price of a basket of millis for 2021. The mean, also known as the average, is the sum of the values in a data set divided by the number of values in that data set. The prices of a basket of millis in 2021 is listed here. So the mean is the sum of these values divided by the number of values in this data set of 12 and this equals a mean retail price of $5.3,795 5 or $5.40. In question 416, you have to describe the trend in the retail price of a basket of millis from January 2021 to December 2021. From the table, you will notice that the average retail price increases from January to August 2021 and then decreases from September to December 2021. In question 417, it is stated that a farmer told his financial advisor that the average retail price of a basket of millis increased by 42% from January 2020 to December 2021. You will have to verify his statement by means of calculation. You may use the following formula. Percentage increase equals the retail price in December 2021 minus the retail price in January 2020 divided by the retail price in January 2020, multiplied by 100%. From the table, the retail price of a basket of millis in December 2021 was $5.47, and the retail price for a basket of millis in January 2020 was $3.79. Substituting these values in the given formula will give us the following equation. 
percentage increase equals 5,47 minus 3,79 divided by 3,79 multiplied by 100 and this equals 44,33%. Since this is not equal to the farmer's statement of 42%, you have to state that his statement is invalid. Not making this final statement will result in you losing one mark. Question 4.2 consists of four finance questions designed to assist your understanding of water tariffs and exchange rates. You are given a context where Jason is considering moving from Cape Town to Irving, Texas as part of a new job opportunity. In Annexure B, you are given the water tariff systems used for the city of Cape Town and Irving, Texas. In question 4 to 1, you are instructed to calculate the VAT amount that was added to the fixed base monthly charges on table 5. From table 5, we see that the fixed base monthly charges is listed as 126 Rand 18 cents VAT inclusive. Now, VAT inclusive means that 15% VAT has already been added to the VAT exclusive amount of 100%. So the VAT inclusive amount as a percentage is 100% plus 15% and this equals 115%. We also know that VAT as a percentage is given as 15% in South Africa. Now to calculate the VAT amount that was added to the VAT inclusive amount of 126 Rand 18 cents, we have to multiply the VAT inclusive amount of 126 Rand 18 cents by the VAT percentage of 15% over the VAT inclusive percentage of 115%, and this equals a VAT amount of 16 Rand 46 cents. In question 422, it is stated that Jason uses an average of 15 kiloliters of water monthly. You are instructed to use the water tariff structure in Annex B to calculate the amount that Jason paid for his water usage in Cape Town. From the tariff structure in Table 5, we see that there is a fixed monthly charge of 126 Rand 18 cents, which needs to be paid irrespective of the amount of water used for the month. Since the water tariffs are calculated on a sliding scale, we will have to calculate the cost of the water for each step up to an amount of 15 kiloliters. So for step 1, the amount of water used was 6 kiloliters, which means that the cost of the water used in step 1 is 6 kiloliters, multiplied by the tariff cost of 18 rand 23 cents. And this equals a cost for step 1 of 109 rand 38 cents. In step 2, the amount of water used was 4,5 kiloliters because the range of water usage in this step is from 6 kiloliters to 10,5 kiloliters. So the water usage is the difference between 10,5 kiloliters and 6 kiloliters which is 4,5 kiloliters. Multiplying 4,5 kiloliters by the tariff of 25 rand 6 cents, this equals a cost for step 2 of 112 rand 77 cents. In step 3, the range of water usage is from 10,5 kiloliters to 35 kiloliters, but the water usage for the month was 15 kiloliters. So the water usage for this step will be 15 kiloliters minus 10,5 kiloliters, which is 4,5 kiloliters. So the cost for step 3 will be 4,5 kiloliters multiplied by the tariff for step 3 of 34 rand 5 cents and this equals a cost for step 3 of 153 rand 23 cents. Now the total cost of the water will be the sum of all three steps of 375 rand 38 cents plus the fixed base monthly charge of 123 rand 18 cents and this equals a total cost of 501 rand 56 cents. In question 4 to 3, it is stated that Jason's total cost for water and sewage in Irving, Texas was $33.28. You are instructed to use table 6 on NHR B to show how this value was calculated. From table 6, you will notice that there is a fixed tariff of $17.30. That must be paid irrespective of the amount of water used for the month. 
In this question, we are given the total cost of $33.28. All you have to do now is select the fixed amount from the water usage part of table 6 and add it to $17.30 to calculate the total cost of $33.28. The only value in the table that when added to $17.30 will give you a total cost of $33.28 is $15.98. So the total cost of water and sewage in Irving, Texas will be the fixed amount of $15.98 plus $17.30 and this will give you a total cost of water and sewage of $33.28. In question 424, it is stated that the cost of water and sewage that Jason paid in Cape Town was $874.86. Jason stated that the cost of the water and sewage will be cheaper in Irving, Texas than it was in Cape Town. You are instructed to verify his statement by doing the necessary calculations. If the exchange rate is one dollar equals fifteen rand, comma five two nine nine cents. From question four to three, it was stated that the total cost of water and sewage in Irving, Texas, was thirty three dollars and twenty eight cents. This cost in South African Rand is $33.28 multiplied by 15 Rand, 5299 cents per dollar, and this equals 516 Rand 84 cents. Now, comparing the cost of water and sewage in Irving and Cape Town, we see that the total cost of water and sewage in Irving is cheaper than Cape Town. Therefore, his statement is correct. It will be cheaper in Irving for the same amount of water usage. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. And you can check out this video next.